How do you see your role on the team next year? I mean, I think Messi can mention maybe some tight end things like that that you've been learning. Yeah, well, um, I'm a, I'm a 240-pound running back. So uh, when you get short yard, obviously what I've, what I've done in the past is short yardage, but they've kind of tried to expand my role and, and play a little tight end, a little slot back, or a little uh, uh, H-back kind of uh, a, a tray tight end, uh, something like that. Um, you know, it's, it is – it's – Using the uh, using the personnel that you have with whether it's a, a fast guy put him at tailback and receiver or whether it's me I'm a I'm a bigger guy whether it's me at tailback or tight end and just uh, using all the pieces that you have is kind of is kind of what I see with going going Does that forward. Been hard to adjust to or has been relatively I mean the terminology. Things well, like it's that. it's the only thing is is the the particulars because you know being just going in my fifth year so I've you know seen it all seen it all heard it all it's just sometimes you have to pay attention to different stuff so that's the only thing is is just knowing what to lock in on. Uh, when you're at whether at tight end rather than I mean, that rather than at running back, because at running back you know I, I could do it in my sleep and just tell you where you need to go because I've done it for so long. But at tight end it's a new thing, so you need to know where your aiming points are, where exact landmarks are, and stuff like that. So I know the general concepts pretty well, but uh, I just need to keep developing on the specifics. Uh, yeah, what they're going to see is they're going to see a lot of um, a lot of downhill running, but that downhill running is going to set up play action passes and it's going to set up outside runs. It's it's. It, it diversifies what you can do. So rather than having some having the defense key in on one thing, whether you're in a certain a certain alignment, you know, if, if they're in three wide receivers to one side and one running one running back to the other side, there's you know a checklist of things you can do. Well, when you're in pistol, there's no set thing that the linebackers or the the safeties can key on. So it keeps everyone on their toes. On the on the field, it's it's easy to it's easy to coach running backs. You know, as as I said, you know, I've been doing it. You know, four years now, so uh, it's easy to coach running backs because that's that's something that comes naturally. I, I do need to take a little bit of coaching because I can get general concepts uh, on those um, on those on those pass plays, on those run plays, but it, it is the specific. So I'm the one taking the coaching from someone like Ernst, who's been very gracious and helping. Um, you know, a new guy like EJ, who's uh, really kind of just starting to get his feet wet. Um, you know, I can I can help him with the, with the big picture stuff, but Coach Blyle's doing a great job of of talking to me and talking to EJ and, and even coaching up Ernst uh, just to to make sure every everyone knows exactly what they're doing and get the best out of us.